right mom and thank you for tuning in we're going to talk about five things that you can put in your system right here right now that can help you with depression when i was diagnosed with depression like everybody else i was told that i have to be put on medication but i did not want to be on medication i don't know anybody that likes medication i didn't want to be on medication i was very scared of becoming dependent of the medication just to be alive and after six months, I woke up one morning and I said, you know what? I'm done. I have to fight this battle myself. Now, not everybody can do it. Not everybody wants to do it, okay? I'm not, these videos are to help you. And everything that I show you, please take the time to do your own research. Too many people go on YouTube or Google or whatever and you take one thing and you keep it in your mind for the rest of your life. Somebody can tell you. Take five pills to lose weight and you're taking five pills. Maybe for your body, only three pills is necessary. You have to take everything and filter it and tailor it to you, to your system, to your mind, to your beliefs, just to you, okay? Just because the doctor said this, just because the, the paper said that, just because Google said that, just because Estelle said it on YouTube, don't mean it is um the gospel. You have to do your own research to back these things up. The things that I'm telling you, nobody taught me. It wasn't no doctor. It wasn't no teacher. It wasn't... I had to Google these things up on my own, look them up, go to the library, read books on how to heal myself. Now, you cannot... I don't think you can completely heal from depression. So your whole life, my whole life, I'm going to have to continue managing depression. Managing depression means that when your mood goes all the way low, you find a way to bring it all the way up. Because natural people or most people, naturally, you have a bad event, you're sad, and then tomorrow you brush it off, you keep it pushing. For people with depression, one little thing can trigger so much pain and hurt in you that you're hurt. For a long, long time. And you're not able to brush it off your shoulders, right? So, without medication, how do you continue to keep your mood on a certain balance? I chose to do it to what I eat. You eat every single day. Why not eat things that are going to help keep you healthy, right? Five things that keeps you healthy. Number one, dark chocolate. Not milk chocolate, not caramel chocolate, dark chocolate. It said that 1.4 ounce of dark chocolate a day will help release stress hormones now depression goes with anxiety and stress if you're anxious you start to feel stressed and if you're too stressed for too long you start to get depressed whoever you are okay so 1.4 ounce of um dark chocolate this is 1.76 ounce so that basically means you're going to be having to eat this every day now everything in in excess is a problem it's a nuisance I'm not about to sit here and eat a, a whole motherfucking bar of chocolate every day because then now I'm not fighting depression, I'm fighting obesity or diabetes. So what I do is when I start to feel like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm on a downward spiral. I'm not cool. I'm not waking up. I'm not getting up. I need a little booster. It's not bad enough to where I'm panicking yet, but I can catch it. And you have to be able to watch yourself. You have to know yourself enough to be like, you wake up in the morning like, mm, okay. I'm feeling kind of weird today. And you figure it out. Is it bad to where it's an emergency situation? And you have to have a plan, honey. If it's an emergency situation, in an emergency situation for me, I need music. I need to get out of here. I need my mama to give me a hug. I need her to tell me a story about my grandfather because I love my grandfather. I need my husband. So you have to know what level of anxiety or depression or how far you're going or you're gone so i take like this roll you know how they have like three bars just a roll of it when i'm starting to feel a little down and honestly there's nothing like chocolate to make you feel better it's really a mood enhance enhancer so i eat like a bar or like one line of it like this maybe two twice a week not even religiously. If I feel like I'm going down, then I take it. If not, I don't eat chocolate every single day. Number two is fish. Any kind of fish you eat is already good for relieving stress and anxiety. In the case of, of depression, the best friend is salmon. Okay, so there are different kinds of salmon out there. Pick one that works for you that you like. If you don't know how to cook it, honey, Google it youtube it if you don't know how to youtube it 
yeah anyway someone has antidepressant depressant properties so it naturally helps bring the hormones that make you really really sad down and depressed it brings them all the way down and clears your mind out salmon is your friend honey number three is nuts these nuts not nah, not those nuts we're talking about all kinds of nuts you can google them in my case i don't like to eat all kinds of nuts so i have to pick a different thing that works for me almonds are very 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 um what's the word almonds are very advised for depression so now if you get something to eat for example like almonds i can't just get a bag of almonds and start eating them some people can if you like the taste or whatever that's good for you i can't just eat them so i found different ways of incorporating almond in my nutrition i have almond milk you have almond in your system just get a glass in the morning or with your cereals you want to top it i have this honey bunches of oats with almonds they got almonds in them so if i get a bowl of cereal in the morning with milk almond milk and honey bunches of oat and have almond guess what i just took care of myself that morning it's that easy honey you could do this number four we're talking about tea tea is the most amazing thing that somebody created i don't know who created tea but honey okay tea in itself relaxes and releases tension in anybody's body there are two kinds of teas that are always considered or advised for anxiety stress it's chamomile tea and um what's that other word chamomile tea and lavender tea now i have chamomile and lavender tea go to your store walmart 99 cent store walgreens whatever you can find these teas any tea that has calming properties is good for you because the whole point of healing depression is being calm Depression starts when you're anxious, you stress out, and then anxiety kicks in. Anxiety kicks in, and then depression kicks in. So if you keep yourself calm throughout the day, I have this calm, calm on me. I have a gang of tea, but this is just a few that I wanted to show. Basically, you want to keep chamomile and lavender with you, aromatherapy. If you do not like to drink tea, get some lavender. They have lavender perfume, lavender lotion, whatever you want. I have a, a lavender hand soap, and every time I wash my hands with it, it smells so good. It makes you just hussa, and it feels so much better. It's up to you to find things that make things easier and better and life easier for you nobody is going to fight this battle for you not your mama not your papa not your auntie not your great you got to fight this on your own and i am here to help number five st john's worth honey if you know some about tea or you're a herbalist i am a herbalist meaning i like to know things that come from the ground i want to drink or eat things that come from the ground now yes these are pills capsules I don't like pills, so when I got these, I made sure that these said that I can make them as a tea. So all you guys to do is take one of the capsules out. These are mine, so don't, don't worry about the hygiene. One of the capsules out, and you open it, and this, you can put it in hot water, and it becomes tea, and you drink it. You don't have to pop pills if you don't want to. I didn't want to be on pills, so these are five things that right now. Right here, right now, you can go to Walmart. You can go to the store and start putting in your system. There is a thousand kinds of foods out there. Anything that grows from the soil is meant to heal you, to grow you, to nourish you because it comes from God, right? Whatever God you believe in. I believe in my kind of God. So, these are the five top things that I know for sure when I go to the store. No matter what happens, I got to get them. I got to get tea. I got to get some John words. This capsule is 150 capsules. See, for example, this one says that you have to take two capsules three times a day. So that's six pills a day, honey. Ain't nobody about to be popping on six pills every time a day. So I take two in the morning or I put two in my tea in the morning. And that's about it, okay? For the rest of the day, if I have this in my tea and my breakfast is honey bunches of oats with almonds, with almond milk, excuse me and somewhere in my dinner i can put salmon and i have dark chocolate as my snack guess what this entire day i just took care of myself this entire day i just made sure that depression does not creep up on me and beat me this entire day i made sure that i can fight another day thank you for watching the video i hope you liked it and loved it i am a little bit of a goofball
and i love you guys for tuning in make sure you share the video um comment down below if you want me to do another video five more foods that i can think about in my house um share them and like them and i love you and i will see you next sunday namaste bye bye